This ordinary garden wall is home to a predator whose life is ruled entirely by instinct. Visitors to this wall must be careful. Very careful. This is Amarobius ferox, a common garden spider, and she lives inside the wall. A month ago, she laid some eggs. Now they're hatching right on schedule. One hundred tiny spiderlings emerge from their egg cases. In a week, her offspring will become predators. But for now, they are too small to hunt for themselves. They must rely on mother. She lays a special sack of food eggs for them to eat. The spider version of milk. High energy to last them exactly three days. Then it's time for the next stage in their development. Spiders have skeletons on the outside. To grow, they must shed their skins. The spiderlings first mould. The mould signals the last of the duties of a devoted mother. Old skins discarded, her spiderlings are ready to grow some more. But again, they need food, more than she can supply in eggs. She waits for the tick of her genetic clock, set for precisely one day after the first molt. Now she circles round the spiderlings, drumming on the web and spinning thread as she goes. The spiderlings swarm together. Their killer instincts are aroused. Then a new behaviour switches on. She presses herself down to her babies. They climb onto her. Slowly at first, but soon they swarm. She has flicked their predatory switch, and this is how she will feed them. She will be their first prey. With this moment, her spiderlings become predators. As she succumbs to their venom, her life energy passes into her offspring. They suck the fluid from her body, and it can even be seen draining from her limbs. The ultimate maternal sacrifice. The spiderlings haven't had to learn a thing to become predators. Just like their mother, their genes write the plot. Now they have fed, they will face the outside world with instinct, pre-programmed for the kill.